Microsoft Excel 2010 The VLOOKUP function VLOOKUPs are very valuable functions. It compares a value against a range of values to produce some new value. In other words, we're going to give out a bonus, but it's going to be based on our commission. So in this case, we have a commission of $377. What a VLOOKUP will do is take that value, compare it against a range of values, in this case this table here, and find the highest matching value, which is 375, and it would return a corresponding value of 155. So what the VLOOKUP is really doing is comparing a value against the first column in a table and returning a value from whatever column we set of that same table, in this case, the second column of the table. So let's go ahead and look at the syntax and make it happen. First of all, I'm going to click in the cell where I would like it to go. Then I'm going to go to my FX or Insert Function button. And I would like to get a VLOOKUP, so I'm just going to hit V on my keyboard and hit Go. And it recommends VLOOKUP which is exactly what I want. And I can read my description. Looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table and then returns a value in the same row for a column you specified. By default, and this is very important, the table must be sorted in ascending order. And uh, mine is, if I move this over, we can see that the little table I created is in ascending order. I'm gonna click OK and now get my function arguments dialog box. Now my lookup value, I'm going to move this down over here. My lookup value is the value in cell G5. My table array, and I did this earlier, the table array is the table of text or numbers, in this case numbers, that we want to compare our value against. Now, in this instance, I actually named this before this lesson table. So now when I type in T-A-B-L-E, all my values pop in. If you are curious about naming cell ranges, there is a lesson that covers that further. Now the column index number, and I'll slide this back over here, the column index number, and I'll click in here, it's the column number in a table that will produce the value. And it's not the K column. Notice that my bonus column is in the K column, but it's not the K column. We're only looking at that table, and that is the second column. Range lookup, I'm actually going to leave that blank. And I know that I can because it's not bold. Any value not bold in the function argument dialog box is optional. And what range lookup would do is force the value to match a value in column one. And I don't want that. I want it to be able to find a range. So I'm going to leave that alone. If I look at the bottom of my function arguments dialog box, I can see that the formula result is 155 everything looks good, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now to get the rest of my values, I'm going to click and drag down. That's how you do a VLOOKUP in Microsoft Excel.